Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your main Mark Mark about here, and today I'm gonna be doing a little reaction video. But since it's Halloween, uh, I was thinking I might as well do like a special video, a special reaction video. Uh, I was posting like other video earlier, but I just wanted to get this like just for fun. So before we get into the video, I just want to give a thank you to Horror Shorts Party. There to go. Like I've been watching like all their videos, like. Koi X Kenshin, like he put me on, like for real, like. But uh, um, I just want to say, go uh, subscribe and like, our, like all our videos. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> man, honestly, I'm not gonna really do anything for Halloween. Probably just gonna play 2K. That's cool though. It's cool. But it's three true Halloween horror stories, animated. So this should be good. But without further ado, uh, don't forget to. I'm gonna drop a. I'll link to their channel in the description below. But yeah, let's get right into it. <clears throat> Poor shorts if you're watching, which I know you aren't. Don't strike me, cause like I will. I if if you want me to take down the video, I will. But like, yeah, let's let's get right into the video. All right. His father, Ronald, and another Pasadena. parent. The night started off innocently enough, but we're know. going to end in tragedy. In tragedy. When the group knocked on one particular door, there was seemingly no one home, and as such, Bro, they swiftly moved on. Timothy's father stayed me? behind for a moment to wait and see if anybody would answer the door. He quickly caught back up with the others, with five pixie sticks in his hand, given to him by the homeowner who was simply taking their time to answer the door. He distributed the candy amongst the children, and later gave the spare one to a child who was not with the group. It began to rain, oh like, and as effect. such, they cut their trick-or-treating session really short, gonna, why, why and the children rain? and their parents went back to their homes. Before bed, Timothy That's asked tough. his parents if he could dip into his candy collection. They agreed, <laughs> and young Timothy decided to start with the pixie stick. Pixie stick. He poured some of the powdery candy, candy into his mouth, <laughs> but immediately complained <laughs> that it tasted unusually Chuck. bitter. Oh. Timothy quickly realized <gasps> oh. that something was wrong, oh, and he rushed to the bathroom with severe oh. stomach pains. That boy got laced. Shortly after, uh, Timothy began true. to convulse, and within no time at all, went limp in his father's arms. Bro, what he the died fuck? as he was being rushed to the hospital. After but that's, oh my God, he got um. I know, I know, I read it. bro. What? After a pathology report, that's, it was revealed that the pixie sticks had been laced with a poison, a oh, fatal dose damn. of potassium cyanide, to be precise. Bro, I did. Dude, Timothy what? consumed enough poison to have killed two adults. Thankfully, Dude, none of the other children in the group had eaten their pixie sticks, though theirs also tested positive for containing lethal amounts of cyanide. The tops of the candy wrappers had been opened, filled with poison and resealed with a stapler. What the fuck? After the news of Timothy's death spread, there was community uproar, with parents from the surrounding area returning their children's Halloween candy to the police, fearing oh that a maniac had been handing out poison treats to as many trick-or-treaters as possible, with the sole intention of killing dozens of children. Oh, oh my god, bro. I'm a gay. Copy that. Uh, okay. <laughs> what time is it? All right, and I'm that's exactly okay, so what I'm was believed to have happened okay, by the police. Initially, Damn. at least. Um, I'm a, the authorities I'm go ahead and, began like, to grow suspicious of Ronald, like, no, not Timothy's own video. father. I'm gonna go ahead and like. You'll see. Like, just give me like a second. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna start the rest of the part right now. <clears throat> and he had taken out trick or treating. Oh. His motivation. To collect on various life insurance policies that he had taken out on his son, and presumably his daughter, though it was stated she never ate her candy. He gave the other children the sweets in order to cover his tracks and make it appear as if someone else oh was indiscriminately God. handing out the poisoned pixie sticks. Bro, Turns what? out that Ronald was over a hundred thousand dollars in debt, and the life insurance payouts that he was set to receive would have eased his financial woes. Damn, bro, what the hell? Throughout his entire trial, what the f*** is his innocence, 
but the amount of evidence pointing towards him as the murderer was too substantial for the jury to ignore. Kill him, bro. Kill him. It was revealed that Ronald had been talking to chemists about where he could purchase cyanide and how much would be needed for a lethal dosage. What the hell? His friends and co-workers <laughs> also testified that Ronald showed an unusual interest in the poison in the months leading up to Halloween. He was found guilty of murder and four counts of attempted murder and was sentenced to death. Thank you, bro. Fuck that motherfucker. While incarcerated, he was despised by his fellow inmates who condemned him for murdering his own son. Ronald's execution took place on March 31st, 1984, yes, sir. just him, after bro. midnight. Him, A crowd of demonstrators gathered outside as he died, <laughs> some even chanting, trick or treat. For his heinous crime, God, Ronald has become known as the man who killed Halloween. Damn, bro. Oh, hell no. Oh my god, bro. Yo, that, that was, that was crazy, bro. That, that was, what, like, what even, like, what, hello? But, shit, all right, I'm gonna, I'm just going on to the next one, bro. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna, like, start it up again. This might be my last, um, I guess, reaction, because uh, I was gonna make, like, a different video later on, like, the scare or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, so, I don't know why, bro, but every time, like, I record, it always, like, has this weird buffer, and then, like, I, I just can't skip it, so I have to, like, trim it out, and so that's where you see, like, a big chunk of it missing, but... A message playing on the TV, as if it came straight out of the movie The Purge, saying... This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials what the hell is going on? I turn the TV off and immediately hear a knock coming from the front door. What the? Bro. I open the door and saw some kids shout. <coughs> Trick or treat! There's no way that's true. Bro. Sorry guys, no candy here today. Is he? You suck. And wearing a raincoat is in a costume, cheapskate. Bruh. I'm dressed as Georgie, you idiot! Oh my god. <laughs> I slam the door shut. Good old turn to hammer down down another drink. Shit, it's so funny. That's when I heard another knock at the door. Go away. Go away. There's no way it's, it's... Go away. Go away! Not handing out any candy, you stupid kids! That shit's I angrily approached the door and looked through the peephole, only to see a group oh, of people wearing purge masks fuck. while holding machetes. At first glance, I thought it was the guest from the party, but then I heard one of the guys say, Maybe we can go through the backyard and take him out there. My heart Bro, began what? to submerge into my stomach. Bro, what? I turned off all the house lights and simultaneously darted across the living room to make sure that the backyard sliding Bro. door was locked. As I secured the lock handle, one of the purgers slammed oh, the door oh, the last oh, door while yelling. Oh my scared the shit on me. Open the Bro. door, Georgie! <sighs> Leave me alone or I'm calling the cops! That's when I grabbed a large blade from the knife set on the kitchen counter and ran towards the bedrooms. I then saw a red balloon hovering above the ground. I couldn't tell if I was hallucinating or not from the belligerent state that I was in. Nonetheless, I plowed through the hallway and locked myself in one of the bedrooms. As I glanced through the blinds of the bedroom window, I saw someone dressed as a dancing psychotically while staring in my direction. <laughs> I heard nothing but the sound of my heart throbbing vigorously through my chest cavity. Damn, bro. That's when I hear the closet door open behind me. I couldn't move a single muscle as I was honestly petrified to turn around. I then felt bro, a soft no way tap on my shoulder bro. with someone saying, Hey, Georgie. Ah! How the hell did you get in here? Bro, that actually got me, bro. Bro. actually got me, bro. <laughs> what? <clears throat> yeah. Take it. Take it. Take it. Get away from me! There's no way that's true, bro. You blow too. You blow too. Bro, honestly, that was true, bro. You blow too. That's when the that's clown's cat, mouth obviously. abnormally opens wide and begins right, to swallow my entire head. Talk I felt again. like my life was slowly diminishing. Through my drunken haze, I dug the kitchen plate into the stomach of the clown, despite not being able to see a thing. I could feel the hand 
I was digging at the clown's stomach, become wet from the blood being shed everywhere. I then opened my eyes and realized that the mouth that was supposedly swallowing my head That's was none other than a brown paper bag being held by my friend Dave. That's cat, bro. There's no way that's true. Happy Halloween. That's cat, bro. I'm gonna believe that shit. I'm gonna believe that shit for a second, bro. Nah, fuck that shit. Well, guys, uh, that was gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not gonna do. I already know it's gonna be buffering right now. So like, you have to like just. I'm sorry, bro, but I don't know why it's buffering. So like, I know I see you buffering in the later thing but but um honestly though I'm gonna wait for it to like stop buffering because I know it likes to buffer a lot for no reason I think that should be good but nah but yeah guys it's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did enjoy drop a like comment probably not if you're new here subscribe but yeah honestly uh, the video was scary. I don't, I don't know about the second one, but the first one was definitely real. <laughs> I don't know about the second one, but... Happy Halloween, guys. Make sure you guys get candy. Be safe out there. Don't get kidnapped. Just don't get tricked. And yeah. See you guys next one. Well, I'm making a new video, but yeah. I'll catch y'all later. Alright, happy Halloween. Peace out.